The Edmonton Expo Center as we take a look at the tail of the tape for the main event of the night here in the welterweight division. Ryan Ford, 32 years of age, 5'11", just over 170 pounds. His reach, 74 inches. Jake Shields, 35, 6 feet tall as we take a look at the rules. 10-point must system is in effect based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No knees or kicks to the head of a grounded opponent. With the official Whoa. introductions, we send it up to Jazz Securo. Everybody stand. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the next level. It is the future of mixed martial arts today. On a global scale, it's the World Series of Fighting, and it's time for your main event of the night. Your main event is sanctioned by the Edmonton Combative Sports Commission. And now, live from the Edmonton Expo Center in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, are you ready? It's about to go. And ladies and gentlemen, somebody make some noise! Your main event is brought to you by Crave Online. Three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now, introducing on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, 29 victories, seven defeats, one draw. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in at 171 pounds, fighting out of San Francisco, California, by way of Mountain Ranch, California. Introducing Jake Shields. And now, his opponent, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, his record, 22 victories, four defeats, standing five feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in at 171 half pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, by way of Edmonton, Alberta, presenting Ryan, the real deal, Thorne. Okay, guys, you both know the rules. I want a good, clean fight at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, go back to corner, get ready to fight. Kyle Cardinal will be in charge of the action inside the cage as we get set for the main event. Michelle Jean-Pierre getting us started. This is it, the main event of World Series of Fighting 14. Ryan, you ready? Let's do it. Boss, you get the sense that Ryan Ford would like nothing more to come out and just completely dominate the very experienced Jake Shields, but he's got to be careful because Shields is absolutely a slick submission artist. And, and what I said before, he had Dan Henderson on the ground and he beat Dan Henderson. So that, that should say enough. You know, Dan the great wrestler, he's just on you the whole time. He gets you tired, he gets you tired, and then boom, suddenly there's a takedown or a body lock and with the takedown. Oh! And a stiff left sends Shields to the canvas. Oh, they really worked on Ford to make sure that he doesn't go in too hard. Whoa. You see, he's still picking his shots now. He's not overcommitting. Something I was afraid for that he was going to do, especially in his hometown, because he wants to shine. And that sets yourself up for a take on if you do that. Well, I'll tell you what. Bite your feet. You gotta commend Ryan Ford for not getting overly hyped on that left jab. He could have rushed in and just pounced on Shields. And Shields able to pop up quickly, and now he's gonna go for a quick takedown. Try to slow this down a little bit and get it to his world. Shields has uh, a really strong head. Look at this here. From Ford, the way he gets back up. Yeah, he's been working that with TriStar, and it's paying off. And there you can see the difference in the power and knees. Well, Jake Shields has been rocked before in front of bigger crowds than this, and I was there when he took on GSP and another takedown. Here. And now he's got Ryan Ford in a little bit of a difficult situation. Yeah, this is not good for Ryan Ford. He needs to get out of this ASAP, wow. especially in the mount position now. He should have never allowed that. 
All right, boss, if you're advising Ryan Ford and your cage side, what are you telling your fighter? Well, go to the guard. Watch go the back on your head. belly. Now first stretch your legs, push your leg down, go for half guard, work from there to the full guard. It's a, it's a, it's not a uh, simple, uh, uh, it's, how do I say it? It's not difficult, that's what I'm trying to say, but you gotta do it. And we were just moments away from just Ryan Ford with that straight left taking Jake Shields to the ground and now he's giving up the back to Shields. He cannot do that. He cannot give him the back. Shields is very dangerous. His submission game is top notch, trains with all the Diaz, but the Diaz brothers, yeah. and Gilbert Melendez, I mean, all these guys are really good on the ground. Cesar Gracie, of course, is their main coach. Look at he's continually fishing for the rear naked choke as the fans come alive. Yeah, he takes his time. He's got two minutes and 10 seconds to go. Fort needs to stay calm. I don't like the way he defends that, um, that, that, that I, I think this is better, you know, looking to the side and dig yep. your jaw into your shoulder. It's a better way of defending a rear naked choke, especially against a guy like Shields, because once he slips under, oof, that's it. Jake Shields in the blue trunks, making his World Series of Fighting debut. It's Ryan Ford in the black trunks, and he's in a world of hurt. We started this fight out in the first 30 seconds, and he popped Jake Shields with that straight left, dropped him to the canvas, but since then, Jake Shields has been on his game. Yeah, he's got to watch out. He's got a, whew, a minute and a half to go. Body lock from Shields. Shields methodically trying to throw multiple options at Ryan Ford, who has to defend, and hoping that he just brings that chin up momentarily. Oh. And Shields going to try to sneak in that rear naked chin. Really watch out here. Doesn't look like it's in deep enough, boss. No, but you know, nowadays, we see guys get choked with their own jaw. Yep. They pull the, own, the, the jaw from the guy into his own throat, and they can still pull off a uh, submission. Hard to That's see where the jaws are there. lying for with that beard that he's rocking tonight. That's a cross face there. Shields is doing a good job now. I think he should have done it sooner. Final 40 seconds of round number one. Can Ryan Ford hang on? You see? Oh, this time That's it's in deep. In. That's it, that That's is it. it. It is all over in Edmonton. Yep. What did I say in the opening? He cannot go to the ground. He needs to keep it on his feet. Welcome to the World Series of Fighting, Jake Shields. And boss, that's just how quick this sport can turn. We've seen it tonight in some of the undercard fights. It looked like a guy was completely out. And then, like Oof. that, they can turn it, and the fight ends. They couldn't turn it right. When I said with Shields, he should have done that sooner, the striking. He started to hit him, hit him, hit him. You know, it aggravate him, and suddenly he slips into choke. Mixing strikes up with submissions, that's the key to success here. Well, here's how it started in round number one in the main event. Ryan Ford came out with everyone behind him. Watch the left, boom, right on the chin. And Jake gets back to his feet, collects himself, and just in a matter of two and a half minutes later, continually fishing for that rear naked choke. Yeah, Jake has been hit many, many times by really strong people. He's got a very tough chin. You know, he survives it, and that's it. You know, make wow. one mistake with this guy, that's it. He's just that good. Amazing composure by Jake Shields with all the Edmonton Expo Center behind Ryan Ford. But in the end, the submission specialist, Jake Shields, picks up his 30th professional win. We'll speak with him and have the final official result when we return to Canada. Back inside the Edmonton Expo Center on NBCSN for the conclusion of the World Series of Fighting 14. The main event goes quickly as Ryan Ford comes out, strikes first, dropping Jake Shields to the canvas, but it is Jake Shields in the end that gets the win. We now go inside the cage for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a rear naked choke at four minutes and 29 seconds of round number one. Your winner, Jake Shields.
As we take a look at the highlights from one round of action here in Edmonton, presented by Autoshopper.com. The stiff left from Ryan Ford had the fans on their feet here at the Edmonton Expo Center. But in a matter of two and a half minutes, Jake Shields got this to the ground, his world, and continued to fish for that rear naked choke as he took the back of Ryan Ford. And in the end, Ford, unable to continue, has to tap out.